your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act Health Insurance Marketplace. And this is on healthcare.gov. I mean, I'm talking about like free health insurance. A lot of you may have referred to this program as a Obamacare, but this act makes affordable health insurance available to more people. And I'm talking about like the good stuff, like Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, and more, my darling. Now, this act also expands Medicaid program to cover all adults with income levels below 138 percentile of the federal poverty level as well. But not all states have expanded their Medicare programs. But we'll discuss that later. So if you want to know what's going on with this free health insurance, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content on multiple channels now guys my vlog channel is up and going and running so definitely go ahead and sign up over there if you just want like a little bit of dose you know some daily doses of chalet you can go ahead and get that information over there as well and then um you know just stay tuned in over here too why not you know just saying. So a few weeks ago, the Biden administration announced enrollment in the Affordable Care Act marketplace plans had reached an all-time high of 13.6 million people of December 15th. Now, it was still a month to go for the enrollment period for 2022 in most states. Healthcare.gov received premium tax credits to help pay for coverages, including 400,000 people who would not have been qualified prior to the March of this year when we had the American Rescue Plan. So with that bill, it not only increased like premium subsidies at every income level through 2022, but it also removed like the previous income caps, which was about 400% of the federal poverty level or about 51,000 for an individual or 106,000 for a family of four. In 2022, no enrollee who lacks access to other affordable insurance pays more than 8.5% of income for a benchmark of the silver plan. And most plans are really like far less than this. So I received like so many phone calls from my friends who were entrepreneurs or could barely even afford health insurance. And now they have access to like premium insurance at no cost, like zero, zilch, and zay nada, nothing at all. Now, four out of five people who enroll in the healthcare marketplace, you end up paying less than $10, like less than $10. And then nine out of 10 people who look into the program, you're eligible for some type of financial assistance for health insurance. So this is something that I wanted to make sure that my subscribers were aware of because there's a solid chance that you're eligible for some type of assistance. Now. There are trained professionals that can figure out how much you get and how much you have access to as well. And like, I'm telling you, like, this is being afforded to you by the government, guys. Now, earlier in the year, there was a special enrollment that opened up from February 15th through August 15th for 33 states. But now you have until January 15th to enroll, maybe even change your plan for your 2022 coverage. Enrollment at the time in February and even now has been focused on states that have not expanded their Medicaid, which means like for the states that have not expanded their Medicaid programs to cover like people with household incomes under a certain level and others haven't either. So like whether you qualify for Medicaid coverage partly depends on whether your state has like expanded its program. And in all states, you can qualify for Medicaid based on like your income level, your household size, if you have any type of disabilities, your family status. And there's a lot of other factors that, you know, determine your eligibility from state to state for Medicaid. But if states have expanded their Medicaid coverage, then it's solely based on your income alone. So like if you just was underneath that federal poverty line, then your household would be able to qualify for the Medicaid but you already know, not every state has done this, including my state of Alabama. So even if your state hasn't expanded their Medicaid coverage, it looks like your income, if your income is still below the federal poverty level, then you can still go to healthcare.gov and fill out an application and still qualify for a plan in the marketplace. Now, each state has like coverage options that can work best for you, particularly if you have children, 
maybe if you're pregnant or even if you have some type of disability and the more details that you provide based on like your income information, you may fall into a range that will help you save just a little bit more. So when my friends told me about this, I decided to give it a try myself, you know, and complete an application online. So initially when I went to complete the application, it asked for like my basic information. You know, a lot of times what they ask on any type of application, your income, the number of people in your household, like your marital status, do you have any pre-existing conditions? And of course I was asked like if I was a smoker, you know, just the normal healthcare questions. Now, based on my current income, I did not qualify, but then I went in there and started finagling it, right? I started entering like some sample numbers just to see if I would have qualified. And then I qualified for three plans. Now, the first plan I qualified for was the Blue Cross Blue Shield with a $0 deductible and it had like $15 copay. And like, y'all, this plan was like better than my own work plan. And then I love that it gave me like a template where I can just go and view like how much it would be for like hospital stays. Um, if I had to do physical therapy, you know what? I'm gonna let you go ahead and see the template because it was like a four or five page template that went down and told me all my fees that I would have to pay when I reached my deductible. It was very well detailed on like an Excel spreadsheet and it just made me a little bit more comfortable. But then I was like, okay, well, if I don't have to pay any money for um, Blue Cross Blue Shield, let me see what it is for United Healthcare. So then I went to United Healthcare and viewed their details. And when I looked, I would have to pay a $50 deductible. And when I started looking at just like my co-pays as well as like any hospital stays, it was a little bit more with United Healthcare, but I'm not gonna lie, like a $50 deductible, that's still pretty good, especially, you know, if you're an entrepreneur or you don't have any insurance because, you know, with insurance, something is better than nothing okay like something is better than nothing you don't want a ton of hospital bills you don't want to mess up your credit so definitely i was excited about this plan and then the last plan i'm not sure exactly what the name of the plan was but to me because i didn't know it and i wasn't as familiar with the third plan as i was with like united healthcare or blues cross blue shield i'm not gonna lie i didn't even really just like look at it for real because Everybody knows like Blue Cross Blue Shield. It wasn't nothing like Anthem or any other program that specifically, you know, that I would know or that's familiar to me. So yeah, I didn't. But the application only took about 15 minutes to complete and it didn't ask for me to upload any information at all. And then once you completed the application, I had options to meet in minutes. Now, even if you're not like an expert at navigating the computer, they do have where you can sit down with like a trained navigator and can help you fill out the application. They'll help you choose like what plan is right for you and see if there's any way that you can save any money as well. So think about it like this, like navigators, they do not work or sell any type of insurance or try to sway you to any provider. Their goal is to help you find like the best possible plan that meets your needs. And if you didn't want to use like a navigator there's tons of nonprofits that offer like appointments over the phone in person virtual and these meetings are free and they help you just like you know follow up and make sure you understand exactly what's going on and they even contact you throughout the year so i mean this is like a great program to look into especially if you don't have insurance the last chance to sign up for this is january 15th and then your coverage will take effect on february 1st as well and so like I had no idea that this program existed. You guys know that I still work and I'm in the military as well. And so one of my biggest things on me not going full time as an entrepreneur is because like my health insurance and you know, like you need insurance all the time. All right. Like, and so the fact that I have friends now who were able to qualify for a blue cross blue shield and not pay a deductible, don't have to worry about anything and still be able to go get seen by a doctor and have in-network providers. So definitely like if this is something that you're even considering or you're without health insurance, look on there because they have like in-network providers. Um, when I did look for as far as like the dental, it did not have any dental coverage, but last time I checked like dental is not that expensive as well. This was like for just mostly medic, uh, medical insurance as well. So yeah, I mean, definitely check into it guys. 
Let me know, have you heard of the um, Affordable Care Act as well? Have you been on healthcare.gov? Did you even know something like this existed? Um, let me know about Medicaid. Like if you guys want me to start bringing like Medicaid and Medicare videos to this channel, I could definitely do that as well. It's just something that I'm interested in. So, cause I mean like Lord willing, I'm getting older, right? So I need to know some of these things and I don't want to wait till the last minute and be like, I didn't know that. So definitely let me know i'll bring more videos like this sign up you have until january 15th this video is not sponsored it is free if you don't even know if you qualify or anything just go fill out an application call someone and then go from there you'll know in minutes if you qualify or not and that's all i got guys please like comment subscribe and i will talk to you later gator bye guys